Okay, now let us talk about this article coming from the Mail Online. And the article is dated the 19th of March, 2022, right? Now, title, owner of sexy summer camp for teenagers, says she has been forced into hiding after backlash over her encouragement of masturbation for toddlers and self-managed abortions, okay? Now, she's playing the victim because she's out here encouraging masturbation for toddlers and self-managed abortion and now she's having a backlash and she's playing victim let's continue sexy sex ed was founded in 2012 in whitesburg kentucky with the aim of giving young people in appalachia the sexual education they said they lack so teaching toddlers to masturbate is a sexual education let's continue on march 16 a journalist with the manhattan institute christopher rufo who specialized in culture wars reported on their work rufo wrote that a sexy summer camp had lessons on sex liberation gender exploration BDSM, I don't know what that is, being a sex worker and a self-managed abortion, right? Those were the lessons, being a sex worker. So in other words, they are teaching children how to be a prostitute, right? Young people attending the camp were also taught about a sexual activity using licit and illicit drug. Sexual activity, that's a nice word to say, using drugs while having sex. The Daily Mail certainly know how to sanitize this article. Now, the team behind Sexy Sex Ed say, our educators, so people who teach young people to be prostitute, encourage toddlers to masturbate, they are educators. Okay, right? Now the team behind Sexy Said Ed, Sexy Sex Ed says, our educators and our founders have been flooded with hundreds of threatening messages across all platforms. The website Jezebel reported that some of the team at Sexy Sex Head say they are afraid to leave their home amid death threats. Rufo replied, criticism is legitimate and to be expected, adding, the rush to play the victim is a way to avoid any meaningful discussion about the real issues which is true because i want to know why is it this woman is getting away with teaching children how to be prostitute teaching toddlers how to masturbate teaching young people to have sex while on drugs and put it under the umbrella of education right and if this reporter never bring the story forward we would be none the wiser how did this woman manage to get away and we know how child services behave they love to step in right why didn't they step into this situation right here why is it that this woman was allowed to get away with this had it not been for the reporter we wouldn't have known let us pick up some of this article right Christopher Rufo, who specialized in culture wars, revealed the Sexy Ed Team Sexy Summer Camp program from last year. He wrote that the session for teenagers aged 13 and above include lessons on sex liberation, gender exploration, BD, BDSM, being a sex worker, sanitized wording for prostitute self-manage abortion and sexual activity while using licit and illicit drug right rufo notes that the founder tanya turner calls herself a femme fat 
queer, magical pleasure worker who was raised by a host of witchy women in a coven-like mountain matriarchy and uses crystals, sex toys, and tarot cards in her teaching. So, hold on. I am lost for words. Are they trying to tell us that this woman is using sex toys and tarot cards in teaching children? How did she manage to get away with all of this using the umbrella of education? Right? How did she? This is unbelievable. Right? No. In a video on a social in a video on a social media she said that she has encouraged her four-year-old nephew to masturbate, describing it as healthy and normal. Masturbation is really healthy and I recommend it to people of all ages, Turner said. Right? Sexy Sex Ed said that after the publication of Rufo's article, they were subjected to harassment and threatened. No. The question that I would like to ask is why is it that this woman was allowed to get away with this? Had it not been for the journalists, we wouldn't have known what this is all about. Right? She is teaching children to be prostitutes. She is teaching toddlers to masturbate. And it is no secret. Right? Why is it that the system wasn't quick to shut her down? Why? right understand the times that we are living in and that debauchery is rewarded right people you need to pay attention to the type of people that is teaching your children and if someone tell you and show you who they are you need to believe them because she did not hide who she is and what she is about she did not hide it and that is what i cannot understand in today's world Right? Someone can show you and tell you who they are, what they stand for, and yet you still don't believe them. You still go ahead with them like sheep. How is it that this woman was allowed to get away with this? In the United States of America, teaching young toddlers to masturbate, teaching children to have sex while on drugs. Right? teaching children to be sex workers this whole entire article from the mail is well sanitized the wording is well sanitized right what these people were doing were teaching children right toddlers let that sink in please go look up this article for yourself and understand the times that we're living in right you need to seek the most die while you can right because these people are looking to sexualize our children and they are getting rewarded to do this why is it that this woman was allowed to carry on had it not been for the journalists we would know right you need to pray pray for our children because they are coming for our children right they are trying to lower their vibrations they're trying to get demonic entities to possess them to attach to them we need to pray and say glory be to the most high